Example, for the function f of x equals x squared minus 2, use the graph to find each of the following function values. Well, on a test or something, we probably wouldn't actually be given this formula, because if we were and they actually wanted us to use the graph, we could cheat and plug into that formula and figure out our function values that way. So let's pretend like we don't know what the actual equation is. We're just supposed to look at the graph and figure out what these values are. So what's happening is that we are inputting negative 2 into our graph for x. Because think about it, normally we have f of x. So negative 2 is our input, it's our x value. So we look on our x-axis for negative 2. And then where negative 2 is, we go up to the graph and we say, what value does that function have at x equals negative 2? It has a y value of positive 2, so that's our answer. Okay, so we input x values, we output y values, and so here they're asking us to input something, and the answer is what the output is, which is our y value. So for f of 0, same kind of thing. I'm inputting 0, so I'm looking for an x value of 0. I go down to my graph and say, what is my y value there? It's negative 2, so that is my answer.